Hey guys. Our left hand girl. Welcome back to the channel, Thriving Thrifters. We are about to head out to the Texas game. And we have a few extra minutes, so I thought I would do a super quick Ben's haul. I went to the Goodwill Outlet Ben's last night, aka Goodwill Outlet, aka the Ben's. I spent $17.14 and I got 11 pounds. Mm. So, first thing I got were these vintage Bill Blass jeans. Mm -hmm. They are this light color. There's the logo. Yep. They have the elastic on the side. Zipper works, button works. They are a size. 20. So that's a good size. They are long pants, high rise, vintage. So, let's see about those. I got this shirt just because I thought it was funny. It a is giraffe a giraffe with glasses. Smart giraffe. Green. Super, I like the color. Super soft. No tag. Somebody probably made this, but it's cute. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you will see me wearing this in a video. I am sure that somebody made every t-shirt in existence. That's true. It didn't just happen. This is cute. It is a half man, half bear cowboy riding a Loch Ness monster in the Moonlight River. Midnight River, sorry. <laughs> Midnight River Choir. I have no idea who that is. I just thought this shirt was funny. And it is a size large. It's yep. the Bella T. Those are super soft. And I'm sure you'll see this in a video. I actually thought that Taylor might think it was funny and wear it, but she quickly turned her nose up. Here's Taylor. She's my right-hand girl today. All right. I picked this up. It's just a pink silk lace top. The brand is Soma. Mm -hmm. And mainly I picked it up because it still had the tags. It's by Chico's. And it is originally $44. Size one. Chico's does vanity sizing, so I'm not real sure what size that is, but it's really cute. It's a dusty pink color, crisscross lace. This would be cute under a blazer for a night out. Yes. And next is this silk sleeveless, mm -hmm. and it is Pendleton. Yes. Size large. Yes. Made in China. That's a pretty good brand. But I just thought it was in such good condition for being in the bins. It's got the side slits. Mm -hmm. And button up. And it's got the hidden buttons. So that makes it even cuter. Cool beans. I got this. It More is silk. a Christian... Dior, mm -hmm. pink, no. kind of like a pajama top. Mm -hmm. It does have the embroidered D, mm -hmm. which I assume is for Dior. And it's a button-up silk. Does it have a size? Eva, it's not for you. Have a size? Does it have a size? I would say it's probably a large. Does not have a size, but. That's cute. I looked all over for the shorts or pants or whatever matched it and I couldn't find them. No snags, no pulls. Good shape for the bins. And I got this skirt. It's just a boho peasant. You're a boho. <laughs> um, what do they call these? Um, gypsy? Think, yeah, gypsy skirt. The brand is Flying Tomato. Mm -hmm. I have sold this brand before, not in a skirt, in a dress. It is a size small, and I thought that that was super cute. 
And if you've seen me in the ship with me, you know that I have sold a couple of these type skirts. So, all right. <clears throat> this is a cardigan. Black, super soft, has pockets. I don't know the brand. Richard and Company, size small. Mm -hmm. But the main reason I got it was because it is 50% lamb's wool, 40% angora rabbit hair, and 10% nylon. Oh, so it's... Super good quality material. Doesn't have any pulls. Doesn't have any moth holes. Yeah. So... Um, this is a Valerie Stevens two-ply cashmere. Mm -hmm. It's the main reason I picked this up. Size large, 100% mm -hmm. cashmere. It's just a black, super soft sweater. Doesn't really look like a size large. But Don't worry, people. We'll put a lint roller on it before it goes oh, out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, super soft. I, again, I didn't see any holes or pulls anything like that so cashmere i've heard is a good seller so yeah. i picked it up all right here's another t just plain t-shirt that i thought taylor might like i have no idea what it means it's just a plain I've seen the brand before but... mustard um it's a large artist network program here's all the stuff here yep got it all so i'll look it up i'm sure you'll see it in a video it's just a t-shirt i thought it was cute it says the balance of opposites mm -hmm. um, next is this little workout tank has the built-in bra, good shape, no pilling. The main reason I got this was because it is North Face. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it's in really good shape. It is a size small. Crisscross in the back. Built Crisscross applesauce. Built-in bra top. Good shape. So. You know, in January, when we all want to shed some pounds. Um, next thing I got was this pair of men's Under Armour wind pants. I got these for the size. They are a 4X. Mm -hmm. So, just gray mm -hmm. yeah. wind pants. They do zip on the side. Okay. Or at the bottom, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And they have the Under Armour. I saw it somewhere. There it is. On the bottom of this leg. Yep. Show enough. So, stretch is good. Drawstring. Larger size. So, I thought that that might do well. Maybe so. Um, just a couple more. Mm -hmm. Another shirt that I got for Taylor. It's a black. Rose quartz. Rose quartz. And I know that looks kind of. It's blah, two lions. But it says that it's some kind of inkster. Some kind of designer shirt. Size XL. Um, and this website looks kind of like a Hot Topic type website. Taylor sometimes likes those t shirts, mm -hmm. but she said negative to this. So. I'll look it up, I'll list it, but first I'll probably wear it because it's just a cute t-shirt and it's got lions and I don't know Pink what lion. that is. So, and Bebo, would you like it? I want to wear this? I want to wear a t-shirt? I got this bra because it's got these wide straps and it does up in the front <laughs> and it's in pretty good shape. And the brand, well, I don't show you there. The brand here is Spanx. Oh, bralaluya, Spanx. What's the size <laughs> since you can see it? It's a 36C. All right. So. 
It's about my size. Okay, I'll sell it to you for cheap. No, I'll just go in the room and take it. You don't know where I keep my inventory. I do. There's only so many places you can keep it in this house. I'm cleaning up my inventory room because I have something coming. Yeah. This is Carol Little. Yes. I think it is vintage, and this is a skirt. Okay. That's a beach skirt, yeah. Okay. Kind of cool. Belt loops. Uh, did it say the size? I didn't see it on there. It's definitely vintage, so the size is 10. Okay. Size 10. So I saw this in a bin and I thought that this was a fun design. Mm -hmm. And then when I walked around the corner, I saw this in a bin and I thought, oh, that's a fun design too. <laughs> yep. And then I realized that they match. So it's a cute little set. Oh, yeah. Green, paisley, green, yeah. and black. The stripes match up exactly. Flowers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> St. Tropez West. Trope. Okay, that too. So, this is a cute little set. Mm hmm. You're a cute little set. Oh, I thought that was cute. I can't see that. Hang Vin on, put it up there again. Vintagey. <laughs> yep, there you are. You're all crammed in it. There you go. Awesome. Okay. <clears throat> and last item this. Chunky <laughs> grandma style vintage oversized Sweater. cardigan. Cardigan, yeah. So this is I've seen a lot of resellers talking about this. It has two buttons. The brand is Coleman size XL. Yep, I doodle. 96% acrylic, 4% rayon. Yep. So, I guess this is the thing now. I I couldn't pull it off because I am not, I'm not hip and cute. She's too way, way too hot to wear and something like that. it doesn't have pockets. So. No pockets? But that's cute. And this is the thing. I see it all over. Facebook and Posh and everywhere, and it's warm, yeah. it's cozy, and it has really long sleeves, which I like. Yeah. So that was my haul, and... If you see anything you like, please send us an email at... Taylor? Garden at gmail.com. And going. give this video a like. Smash the subscribe button, please. And the quad, do we have a quad question of the day? Breakfast or no breakfast? Are you a breakfast person? Do you eat breakfast? Or are you a person that generally skips breakfast? All right, so leave it in the comments. I eat breakfast around 10 a.m. I eat it around noon. Mm -hmm. And Taylor doesn't eat breakfast. Yeah. So, <clears throat> That's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.